have a little warm up first. So step your feet nice and wide. Let's take a big breath up, reach and down. So sweep and then come down. That's it. Elbows in, rotate through the spine. Always keep your torso nice and limber. So that's the back, the front, the sides, all of that. Nobody wants a bigger waistline, right? You want to feel better through the waistline. It's kind of a good measure of good health and waistline directly linked to heart health. So roll the shoulders back, good. All right, let's start with just a little tricep stretch. Lean to the side, stretch out the torso. Go the other way. That's it, beautiful. Then come down and little shoulder stretches. Awesome. Okay, a little quick quad stretch. Nice. Other side. Good. And always, I like a little ankle roll to get started. Okay, so first set, we're going to do squats. So I'm going to grab my big 10 pound weight. It's not that big. I'm going to take my feet wide to start. Start with regular squats. Let's go. Down and push. Now I like the wide feet because I can use the inner thigh little squeeze as well, so the wider feet always feel better to me. But we're gonna do every stand. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six. Now while you're doing this, sit your heels back, brace the belly, and breathe. Two more. Drop and hold. So hold, squeeze, all the way up slow. Again, down, hold, Squeeze up, two more. That's it, last one. Beautiful, now watch this, two, two. Down, push overhead, in. That's it, nice. I'm keeping that wide stance. Triple pulse, hands up. Three, two, one and in, go again, three. Nice. One more time, three, two, one, and hold. Now little shake, bring your feet in more narrow. So my toes are almost to the front. I'm gonna turn sideways, roll the shoulders back, two, two squats, sit back. And with that arm forward, now, if you don't want the arms forward, you don't have to. There's an option. Just keep the weight at your collarbone. Now, we like to start with the big weights first. Big muscles, triple pulse. That's it, go again. One, two, three, and lift. That's it, beautiful. Better than three, seven pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up and do it again. Knees behind the toes, guys. I'm sitting pretty low. Good, back to singles. Now, push up. That's it, four more. Four, three, two, and one, and hold. Bring this in. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up the other one, and I'm gonna go to very narrow feet. All right, so our third set of squats, it's gonna be like a suitcase hold. Squat, two by two. Nice. That's it, so we're sitting back, knees behind the toes. I'm going pretty low, but you don't have to go that low. Singles. Nice. Six, five, four more. Four, three, 
two, and one, triple pulse. Check those knees behind the toes. Two more times. Last one. Beautiful. Hold right here. Okay, bring your hands in. Little twist. Finish your squats. Remember, this is a short class. So we don't have an hour for our weights today. We got 30 minutes. All right, quick drink. Coming down to the floor. To the chest. Remember, we're following the format. So bring your weights. Doesn't matter what they are. I'm gonna take my weights up. Now chest press down and up. Down and up. All right. So settle into this movement. The chest is maybe the one where you can target and isolate one of the most, maybe triceps as well, biceps. But it's a very definite muscle group, right? That's it. So bring the elbows down, then push up. Let's get into a little rhythm of your choice. How fast do you want to go? And the great thing about being flat on the floor is you cannot take your elbows too low. Single, drop, drop. Now I'm pressing my back towards the ground. That's it. Okay, let's go right on the beat here. Why not, why not? Four, three, two. Now, quick and slow, down quick. Hold and squeeze up, ah, oh, that's a good one. Down, hold, squeeze up. So bracing the belly, keeping your back on the ground, that's it. Okay, one arm, singles, drop and push. Drop and push. That's it, that's it. Four more, let's go. Four, three, two, last one. Then we better switch. Other arm, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Beautiful, four, three, last two. Okay guys, back to both arms, single press. Drop, push. Now, think about isolating your chest. That's it, that's it, keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze the chest right there. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Triple pulse, elbows down. One, two, three, squeeze it up. One, two, Three, squeeze it up, couple more. Keeping it really simple, last one. And hold. All right, now I'm gonna keep these weights right here. We're going to a fly. So for me, these are heavy. Let's open for two. Open, close, open, close. No faster than that, let's go. Out, two, in. Two. So open the chest and squeeze it shut. Let's keep going. Nice. Get on the beat, guys. Out, out, in, in. Keep your back right towards the floor. Use your abs. Let's do four more. Three. And this will be it for the chest. Last one. And hold. All right. Put your shoulder, shoulder, shoulder blades down. Now bring your knees in, roll up, and put this down the sides. Okay. <sighs> right up. Shake out the hands. Stretch the torso. Awesome. All right. Quick drink in between tracks. We're going to move on to the back. Okay, so now the back track, deadlifts, dead rows. I'm gonna start with the fives. 
just to get my form down. Take your feet about hip width, knuckles out the front, deadlift, two, two. Now lean, rise. Okay, so the deadlift, always say this in class, it's probably one of the more difficult exercises to really do properly. Think about your hamstrings. So, the back of the leg from the knee to the glute. Activate, squeeze it on the way up as well. So lean, this is not a back exercise guys, this is a leg exercise. Drop and hold. So drop, hold it, lift, good. Gonna go perfectly sideways, that's it, good. So back of the leg, squeeze. These are the runner's muscles. So if you're a runner, you want strong hamstrings four more times, down, hold, lift, lift. Doesn't even matter if you don't have weights. The weights are not playing much of a role here. Last one, let's hold it down. Now shoulders back, row for two. So row the elbows, drop. Gonna come this way, roll. Now squeeze shoulder blades. One more. Okay, singles. Eight, seven. Pick, pick the shoulder blades up and kiss them together. Four more times, go four, three, two, and one, and hold. Now roll up. Okay, I think we can go a little heavier. I can go a little heavier, I have no idea what your weights are. So if you went heavy right in the beginning, take a little breather and let's go heavier. Okay, so coming right here, knuckles to the front, your weights are right at the legs. Deadlift, two, two. So lean, down, up, and up. Now, use the back of the body. One more, hold it down at the bottom. Right hand, let's row. Pull back. So upper back and mid back, belly braced. Okay, when you get the beat, use it. Because these songs are all different. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, and one, and switch. Ha. That's it, that's it. It's a lot different when you use one arm in this position. Now, is your back holding you strong? Belly and back. One more. Both arms, row, pull, pull. Ah, that's it. Nice work. Slight bend in the knee, heels on the floor. That's why I'm wearing shoes today. Now all the way up, come up, hold it. Okay, we're gonna do a single row. So we lean, pull, lean and rise, watch me. So down, pull, down and lift. So we're coming up in between each rep. Keep going, down, pull. Now, if you want, you can have the elbows more narrow and you can lean, suitcase grip. You choose what's better for you, depends how big your weights are, right? Triple pulse, let's go. Down, three, two, one, arms down, roll up slow. Ha, do it again, down. Three, two, one, arms down slow, roll up slow. Let's do it again. So lean, three pulls. Put the arms down, then roll up. One more time. Let's lean. And three, two, one, arms down and up. Clean and press, watch this. So squat, push. That's it. Nice. Good. Excellent. Stay on that slow beat. Nice. 
Push. Two more. That's it, last one. And hold. All right, put that down. Beautiful. Okay, stretch across the back. Take your time to stretch between each little set. Okay, fingertips down and walk your heels up and down for the hamstrings. All right, we're gonna move on. Biceps, triceps. Now we'll do these together. So I'm gonna use the smaller weights for the first little bit. And then when we just focus solely on the biceps, I'm gonna go a little heavier. Okay, so this move, I'm gonna come a little closer. So we're watching, bringing the hands up and down. Now it's a bicep curl and a tricep squeeze, all right? So that's it. I've got soft knees. That's it, beautiful. So lift, bring the weight to the shoulder, then squeeze back. So making sure that you are squeezing the triceps at the bottom. It's full arm, right? Lift your chin. That's it. So this one, every time you do a bicep curl, I want you to think about the tricep action. And that means full range because you won't get the triceps unless you're doing a full range curl. Okay? Right. Okay, hold it. Now, we're just gonna do one hand. Let's go. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze back. Lift. Back we go. Ha. Nice. Let's switch. Do the other one. Up. Back. Nice work. Two more. Now let's do it at that speed. Both hands. Eight. Seven. Oh, that feels like it's working, right? Because it is. You don't need a big massive weight and a million reps to work these muscles. And hold. All right. Roll back. Now, we're gonna shake out the legs. We're gonna lean forward a little bit. And this is for the triceps. Also the back of the shoulders, so make sure your belly is braced and your back is flat. Lift the arms. Up and down. Let's go up for two, drop for two. That's it, nice. Straight arms, knuckles forward, lift. You got it, you got it. Two more. Last one. Hold here, pulse, pulse, pulse. Come on, come on. That's it, that's it, right in the break. Holding, holding. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, got that. Okay, one bigger weight. It's gonna be a concentration curl. Okay, so I'll come this way. Bend the knee, slight lean forward. We're gonna lift and drop. Now, not a huge squeeze on the hand, right? You wanna keep your tendons all safe, your elbow all safe, so squeeze it, and you're not resting your arm on your body at all. That's it, beautiful. Huh? It's kind of nice to focus on the one arm, right? Give me two more. Beautiful. All right, switch. Other side. Ready? Up and down. Now you go at the pace you like. 
That's it. So it's a concentration curl. Because we're concentrating. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. There we go. Come on, come on. So remember, you're standing here. You're slightly leaning, so that means you're bracing your belly and you're really squeezing the front of the arm. Three more. Three. Two. One. All right. Grab the other one. We're gonna finish off these arms. Little twist. Okay, guys. Now, set your feet. I want you to turn to that underhand grip. Now, slightly out to the sides. Oh, these are a little heavy. Good. We want a challenge, right? Doesn't matter what they are though. Four more with both hands. Four. Three. Two. And one, alternate. So right, left, they're out to the side a little bit, right? They're not right up the front. It's a different motion. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, come on down. Just a little bit with that heavier weight. Twist, rotate, put them down. All right. We're gonna give the arms a break, we're gonna to go to the legs. Who knows what's next? Lunges. Okay. Woo. Now, I'm going to use my bigger weights again. The weights, if you come to classes at the gym, I usually don't do any lunges with weights, but not with a barbell. But these, I don't mind these. Although they're getting hard to hold now. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with a step back lunge. Ready? Step, drop, in, switch it. Step, drop, in, switch. Step, back, in, in. Keep going. So step, straight down. Now I've got a soft surface here. So I'm tapping my knee to the floor. That's it. Cool, two more. One more. Okay, now I'm gonna step and pull in. Step and pull in. Starting with the stepping lunges. Whew. Now, we're gonna step back so that we make sure it's a big step back, so knee remains behind toes. Good. That's it. Okay, four more. Four on each side. Three. Oh, I can feel it. Two. And one. Hold, side bend, keep those working, keep those working, all right, stationary single leg lunge, we're going to step a foot back, shoulders retracted, so you're up, nice and tall, let's lunge for two, down, up, down, up. Now all I'm gonna do with my weights is hold them. Nothing else, but if you wanna press them overhead, go for it, singles. I wanna be on the beat, so let me get there. Oh. Two more. Get ready to switch sides. Two, two, let's go, down, up, down, up. Nice, you got it. Singles, please. Put 
push into the front heel, squeeze your legs, four, three, no more music, two, and one, beautiful, okay, that's it, now, one more little set, alternating legs, with a leg lift, add your arms if you want, so, down, in, eight, lunge back, knee in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, other side, eight, seven, finish the lunges, six, five, four, brace the belly, three, two, and one, awesome, put those down, shake out the hands, crouch, twist, tornado, okay, a little drink, oh, it feels like Monday, doesn't it, mm-hmm, okay, I don't want to run out of time, so, Let's move right onto shoulders. Five pound weights for me. Let's go heavier if you like, lighter if you like. Okay, so we're gonna stand tall. Slight turn, side raise, two, two, out, in. Now, always remember on a side raise, the lifting motion is important, right? But the squeezing in motion, dropping equally good. Up, squeeze the elbows in, up. That's what really activates the side of the shoulder for that lowering motion. You don't wanna just do half an exercise, right? Right arm, let's go, up. Nice. Now remember, only to shoulder height, four, Three, isolate that side shoulder. Beautiful, switch. Let's go, let's go. Ha. Ha. Four more, come on, four. I've got slightly soft knees, you may not be able to see, but keep those knees soft. Double arms, let's go, let's go. Out, squeeze in, out, squeeze in. As if you could squeeze a lemon, that's right by your waistline. Squeeze it with the elbow. Two more. Rotator lift. Watch this. So lift, flip, down, close. Oh, this is a great move. It gets that rotation through the shoulder. That's it. Nice. We're going to keep going because it's so good. Step one foot back if you like. Just to take a little pressure off the back. That's it, nice work. One more, one more. We better switch feet and do another four. Lift. Huh, without the music. Three. Two more. Oh, I can feel that, can you feel that? Hold, okay. Just do a little release. That's just a little. A little jig, arm jig. Okay, good. Now, you can get heavier weights right now if you like. We're gonna go to a forward raise, so knuckles forward. Let's go, one arm and down. Other arm. Seems easy for the first few, right? We're doing a very shortened set of shoulders. We've only got a couple minutes left. Now, get into more of a rhythm. That's a good one. So you lift one arm, lift the other on a nice forward line. Now, if you want to turn this into a mat raise, then you add the back arm on a bend. That's it. Nothing above shoulder height. This is a great one. 
You're going to isolate that upper back as well. Kind of think about your upper back muscles for a second. What are they doing? When you're doing weights, think about the muscles that are working. You know, you see those anatomy diagrams where you can see what muscle's working. That's what your brain should be saying. Where am I working right now? Not only the front and side of the shoulder, the upper back, the belly, it's braced with a little rotation. There we go, let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, this is the end of the shoulders, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, come on in. We're gonna do a little bit of ab work, a little bit, because we have to finish the entire routine. So I'm gonna grab one bigger weight. So come on down, feet flat on the floor. Bar, uh, not bar up, weight up. So I'm holding it in two hands. I'm gonna lift and drop. Lift and drop, that's it. Four more slow ones, go, four. Now get your shoulder blades off the floor. Reach that weight to the ceiling, or if you've just got your hands, reach your fingertips up. Now up and hold, hold it, stay here. Bring your knees in, legs up, that's it. Roll the ankles right there. Stay here guys, for a little pulsing lift. We want to do our abs with the weight because we are doing weight Monday, right? Even if you're doing this on a Tuesday or a Thursday or a Sunday or whatever. We're pulsing, pulsing. Lift that weight towards your laces. Come on. Come on. Just the pulses. Upper abdominals. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Okay. Now, here's a good one. I'm going to scooch forward so I don't hit the wall. Take that weight up. Now we're going to extend and pull it in. I want you to really get your back towards the ground for that one. This is a great extension. Level one is just arms, okay? I know you can probably pretty guess, pretty well guess what level two is gonna be. Lift the knees, one leg, other leg, full shoot out, right here. Shoot, shoot, right there, shoot the arms, shoot the legs. But all the time, keeping your back to the floor, that's the most important cue right there because you'll feel if you're honest with yourself and your back is down, oh, like that one was really down, how much harder that is for the abdominals. But we're doing the full body here anyway, right? We're getting a little bit of back, shoulders, arms, legs. Okay, guys, five reps. Double arm, double legs. Take a breather. Ready? One. Double arm, double leg, or singles. That's it. Keep it slow. Two. That's it. Keep your back down. Three. Four. And five. Hold it out. Hold it out. There's your challenge. No lifting through the back. And in. Beautiful. Arms up. That's it. Lift back up. Add those pulses back in. Upper abdominal pulses. Oh, I can feel it way more now. Because I think we're at the end of the music. We want to keep going. Whoop. Right there. Okay. Now slowly put the arms overhead. All right. Bring your knees into your chest. Now let's roll side to side. We're gonna make sure to have a nice 
a little stretch because after you do any weights, you must, must, must stretch. Any exercise, really. Okay, roll up to sitting. Even if you're going for a walk, still stretch out your calves afterwards. That's it. Lift up tall. Take your hand outside opposite knee. Look behind you. What's back there? Nothing. Nothing's back there. Go the other way, but it depends where you are. All right. So bring yourself in to a little crunch. I love this stretch. So I'm going to bring my hands a little bit forward. Stretch the outside of the upper arms, the upper back. Tuck your tailbone under. Beautiful. Nice work. Hands into the sides. Drop the heels. Stay bent over. Stretch your back. When you're ready, slowly, slowly come on up. That's it. Nice work. Twist, twist, twist. Add the punches. That's a good one. Just to release the upper back. Then over, over, sides, stretch, stretch, stretch. And the big shoulder rolls. Okay, ankles. 260 calories, not bad. 30 minutes of weights without a barbell, right? So remember in the gym, our weight class it's usually about five to 600 for me, right? So I'd say we're a little ahead right here. Good thing because where I am, the gyms are close. All right, stand up tall. Really focus on that side bend just for a second. Stretch the hand down the side. Now let's have a big breath up and down. All right, awesome work. 30 minutes of weights, regular format for a traditional strength training class. So we did almost everything. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a like on Facebook. Tell me how you liked it. When are you watching it live later? Are you on YouTube watching it? Please subscribe. We're gonna put some other stuff on there. And um, I'll see you this week. I'll be here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we'll do something different each day. So check it out. All right, see you guys later.